everyone and welcome back to the channel today is day three in medina and we have a packed day ahead of us so i started my day by making some coffee for myself and paired it with a butter croissant that i got from bin Daoud. it was really good mashallah i got the kids ready for breakfast but this morning my husband came late from the masjid after fajr prayer i would take one toy and our tablet with us for the kids in case they get upset or they throw tantrums um so he wanted to walk everywhere since she just started to get the hang of it um breakfast usually starts around 6 30 and we go right after my husband returns from the masjid but today we were a little late and it was pretty busy as you can see from the crowd at the entrance most people they come directly for breakfast after fajr you guys know from my previous vlogs we came to medina in november and november is pretty hot as the temperatures are in like mid 30s one thing to keep in mind is that even though the temperature outside is very hot and you want to like dress your kids for the heat but indoors they're actually maintained very cool so this was the day that i realized that i should have carried like a light sweater or a jacket it with the kids because during breakfast Xavier kept saying like I'm cold I'm cold so that's just one suggestion that I would give if you're traveling with little kids um, we would always go upstairs of course simply for the beautiful beautiful view Hanala, every time I see this view it would instantly put me at ease and peace just look at that view you can never get tired of this you know you can see how busy the masjid is even at this time of morning like super early in the morning and this is usually the time of a woman's Riazul Jannah appointment so you can see them lining up breakfast we had our ziyarat tour booked from 9 30 to noon so we had actually booked it for the day before between asr and maghrib time but we were super jet lagged plus i had my riazal jannah appointment so i didn't want to be late for that um, we wanted to enjoy and fully experience the tour properly so that's why we decided that it would be best to do it in the morning um, the tour guide had messaged my husband to let him know that he will be in a red car at the front of the hotel and that's why we exited through the main doors we were visiting many ziyaras we didn't want to take too many items so we just took the kids strollers and we packed one bag with the kids toys snacks and water it's really important to keep yourself and the kids hydrated especially in this heat this video i won't be sharing the specifics about the ziaras that we visited as my next video will cover all of that in detail i'm just going to share a few snippets Medina, chalo Medina, chalo. Nabi ka ghar hai. Waha chalo اے میرے مولا تو سن لے میری یہ دل سے گزارش ہے کب سے میری وہ کب دن آئے گا جب تو مجھے بلائے گا اپنے حبیب کے گھر یہ دیکھنے کو میرا دل ہے بے قرار وہ جب دن آئے گا دیکھنے کو مدینے کی جانب میں دوڑے چلوں مدینے کی گلیوں میں چلتا رہوں کہ شاید ہوا ہوگا میرے نبی کا گزر وہاں کی گلیوں سے اکثر وہی Medina, chalo main Medina, chalo Nabi ka ghar hai, wahan main chalo, ay mere. 
this ziyarat place we noticed that there was this man who had set up a small shop in the back of his car and it was a really nice place to just stop and look at um we liked a few cents of other and decided to grab this one and he's just filling the bottle up for us it was about 10 real which is the normal price for this size bottle throughout medina we just thought that we should support such local small shops and businesses instead of big chains um he had you know a lot of other things too like prayer mats he had perfumes as well tazbi um keychains as a souvenir um and you know lots of things to choose from just a cute little shop that he had opened up on the side and it was nice to just check it out out of all the other scents that we bought throughout the trip i think this one was the best and it was also our first other that we bought so that was nice after our tour the guy dropped us off at our hotel we wanted to rest for a bit as it was a two to three hour tour it was very informative and we really liked our guide he explained like the history and details in a very easy to understand manner he spoke in urdu and was knowledgeable enough to answer all of our questions inshallah i will have a detailed vlog about the ziara tour the spots that we went to and like our experience in my next video inshallah we rested for a bit we went for prayers in between and then before leaving for dinner we wanted to get our room cleaned so we saw this cool feature for the first time where you can scan the barcode and it will show you all the options and services available it takes you to their website it's linked to your room number so you don't have to enter any details they had options ranging from ordering room service to like housekeeping like you know ordering toiletries water etc they also had um, emergency services where you could request technical help in case like your ac wasn't working you know so you can select whatever service you need and then at the end they have a section where you can type any additional information overall their service was pretty good they were pretty fast and we didn't really have any complaints to be honest um we then freshened up a bit and headed out through the front door which is away from masjid al nabwi side uh we were basically walking towards masjid bilal ibn rabah that area so that we can get a taxi to go for dinner so it's hardly a five minute walk and along the way you'll see that you know there are lots of small shops where people were busy shopping so these trucks that went by to clean the roads and the sidewalks and that's why the sidewalks are wet it didn't rain in case you guys were wondering uh we basically walked towards the main road to get to a taxi um this was a spot where local taxis were picking up rides and after waiting for a few minutes we got our taxi from here as well um tonight we are going for dinner at one of the most recommended restaurants and it did not disappoint at all so let's go driver had dropped us off on the opposite side of the road with no crossing so we had to run across the road with kids in strollers which was a little bit scary um so this is the restaurant food master and it's a pakistani restaurant which has pakistani indian and chinese cuisine we went there after asr prayer so it was a good time to avoid rush but when we were leaving it was slowly getting really busy the restaurant is open after zohar prayer from 1 p.m to 1 a.m they also do delivery as well so they had a lot of options in the menu at reasonable prices we had heard a lot about the biryani here that is just like how you get it in Karachi so we definitely had to try that we ordered seek kebabs and pishari mutton karai as well so we were so hungry at this point and when they were bringing like the items one by one my mouth was just watering everything looks so yummy mashallah my husband couldn't wait to get started he was patiently and eagerly waiting for me to finish filming my little clip <laughs> so once again it was very cold indoors so I will recommend that you always carry some light blanket or jacket for the kids because my kids were getting really bothered by you know like how cold the ac was it was very difficult to dress the kids for this like swing in temperature we definitely learned it the hard way um but yeah now it's finally time to eat of course we had to start with the biryani first my husband was taking his sweet time to fill up his plate and i just wanted to start eating to be honest the biryani it was out of this world like mashallah very spicy great flavor and good quantity it was definitely a 10 out of 10 highly highly recommend coming here even if it's just for the biryani Yani um this was the first bite and it was so delicious the sikh kebabs were tasty and fresh as well um and then the karai i would say that it's not authentic pishari karai for sure but it tasted good and we enjoyed it the price for the dinner overall was pretty reasonable especially for the quality and the quantity of the food that we received so we had some leftover which we packed and then it was time to do my favorite activity which is obviously shopping <laughs> which girl doesn't like shopping right so let's go to the mall
After a lot of research, we had found this mall here near Masjid Nabi where you can do budget shopping and find great deals for almost everything you may need. It's called Mujamma Dawudia. It is also known as Kaki Mall in Google Maps. I will share the location pin in the description below. So a lot of taxi drivers, they will tell you that Dawudia Mall is closed, but that was another place. So this is a new mall which is along the Kuba walkway that goes from Masjid Nabi to Kuba Mosque. So you can go here by taxi, but you can also walk there from Masjid Nabi which will be like two to two and a half kilometers walk inshallah i will share another video where i show you guys that walk and like the koba street shopping um so inside there's a lot of small shops throughout the mall of different things like abayas kids clothing luggage bags perfumes souvenirs you know all of that stuff basically anything that you may be thinking of getting buying or like gifting to friends and family so we started off at this little shop on the first floor where they had all these abayas on display I had no specific shopping list in mind just the usual like abayas um you know prayer mat janimas and those type of things or you know whatever i like while i'm looking around so i started going through the abayas and they had so many different designs the prices they range from like 50 to 80 reals depending on the material so this would have been like 50 reals i love the blue and the pink color like it was so pretty it had this beautiful detailing like on the sleeves as well as like the front of the abaya they had multiple colors of the designs and if you want to try anything on like to check for fitting you can put it on top of your clothes as they there are no changing rooms here so i kept gravitating towards like the lighter colors as you can tell also had like this entire section of prayer mats so they had good variety and the quality was nice as well the price ranged from 20 to upwards of like 100 reals depending on like the thickness of the mat or the quality or the design um, on average you can get a good prayer mat on 35 to 40 reals so they had a lot of other things like you know blankets hijabs hats for men tasbi tobes for men and other like souvenirs souvenir gifts um i ended up getting this pink abaya because i really like the color and design do let me know in the comments below what you guys think the mall was actually pretty huge um make sure you're ready for lots of walking to explore all the shops a lot of the shops they have similar themes like they're all selling very similar items um so you just have to see what you like uh they had this huge chandelier in the middle of the ceiling which gave the mall like a very pretty look and lots of lights everywhere the main floor they had lots of shops with like fancy dresses for women lots of bright and like party wear uh, and you know i think i saw a lot of locals shopping around which that definitely tells you that this is the place to shop right because if the locals are shopping that means you're gonna get good deals here so i'm so glad that we brought both the strollers and snacks to keep the kids busy because you end up spending a lot of time here without even realizing it um there was this shop for sandals shoes etc um, we tried a few shoes on xavier to see which looks nice the price ranged from like 10 reals to 30 reals most stores they have like these stickers on the windows which tell you the range of prices of items inside um as we moved around we noticed that many shops were selling like large quantity packs like as in wholesale so for example tasbi atar um you know prayer mats prayer hats everything like a lot of things in bulk so if you're planning to buy things for lots of family members or friends you can get a better deal here buying in bulk um they had shops which were like you know everything 13 real like this store here they had kids clothes shoes sandals accessories toys everything basically for 13 real slowly moved on upwards through the mall so in november this mall was relatively new and many shops were being set up lots of shops had like luggage bags yeah, here too so i'm sure you guys would need like an extra bag after shopping in this mall and there was lots of variety to choose from here almost every shop had like a prayer mat section and an abaya section i spent majority of my time scrolling through abayas i would say most of the shops had decent abayas from 50 to 70 reals in canada abayas are really expensive so that's why this time around i had thought that i can buy abayas here instead of getting like multiple in canada so i found this gray one that i really liked i also want to make a note that most of the shops here they give you a scarf with the abaya included in the price so i think that's a pretty good deal considering i had to buy my hijab separate in calgary of course you can buy separate hijabs here as well but they didn't have the jersey material that i liked um so yeah then we moved on to the top floor and we came across this shop called al rada rugs i believe they were primarily a prayer mat shop and that was the one thing that was left on our list which was to buy um, a few Johnny Mazes for ourselves as well as some family and friends. Um, so they had a huge selection to choose from. And as you guys can see, they had some really pretty designs. The quality was really nice as well. I think this was the place that impressed us the most with the selection that they offered. We went through like a lot of different designs and because of the variety that they had, we couldn't choose which ones we liked the most because all of them were super nice. And you can just tell from here, there was like different thicknesses and everything. Like the material was really nice. 
for some reason i kept getting attracted to like the white colored uh, johnny ma's designs for some reason i don't know i really like this one the blue and white one my husband really liked this specific design that he's holding so it comes in three colors and it's the same design as the carpet used in masjid and nabwi and it's made from the same factory here in medina so they had three colors to choose from and for some reason i love the white one while my husband really liked the green one so which one do you guys like let me know in the comments below the price range from 40 to 50 reals for these ones um and then we also had to buy some prayer mats for family and friends as well so we started looking at like other designs that we liked overall the price range um in the store it can you can say that it goes from 20 to like more than 100 reals depending on material and design but you can definitely find a good deal here by negotiating um another thing that i would say is that in all of these shops you can definitely negotiate you can definitely you know try to get a better deal but of course as soon as you know the shop owners they look at us they usually can tell that we are not you know from pakistan or from india they just know that we've come out you know from like the west um so that also kind of affects the price you're gonna get um but yeah you will still get a good deal here then afterwards we basically had to buy ihram for my husband as well so we looked at the options that they had they had three different kinds one was chinese made from polyester which is not good um in the heat the other two were egyptian cotton and they were good quality so the price ranged from 60 to 90 reals even the guy who was helping us recommended getting the egyptian cotton ones because it's breathable and it's longer lasting Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, finally, after, you know, a lot of looking around and a lot of contemplation, we finally finished our shopping in this shop. And then we had one more floor left, so we decided to just quickly check it out. We were pretty tired by this point, but we had promised the kids, of course, that we will buy them some toys. We got a few toys for the kids, and I really liked how there were some toys where you could press the button and they start reciting the talbiya. That was really cute. Um, and then we headed up to the next floor, and I found this little shop in the corner which sold abayas, and I think this was my favorite shop in the whole mall because they had really pretty abayas can you tell that i'm obsessed with this light pink color it's just beautiful um i really like the color black as well but i like the abayas to have a little bit of design on them so i saw this one and i fell in love with it again the price range from like 50 to 70 or 80 reals as well the quality in this shop was really nice now let's finish our shopping and i will meet you guys when we are done Alhamdulillah, after a very productive shopping session, we finally headed back towards our hotel. Um, if you guys want budget-friendly shopping and good deals, I would recommend you check this mall out for sure. We really enjoyed the experience in the mall. Um, we decided to walk back to the hotel along the Kuba walkway because the weather was so nice at this time. And we basically got this juice along the way and it was so nice. It was so refreshing and just the thing we needed after all the walk that we did. The kids, they had also napped a little bit and they were fresh at this time. Um, Xavier ran around a bit and the whole environment here on the Kuba walkway is just so beautiful and such a nice environment. Lots of families and locals were shopping around. Inshallah, I will share one video soon where I show you the shops on the walkway and that experience. We reached closer to Masjid Nabwi. We were pretty tired by this point. As you guys can see, Medina is busy at any time of day or night. I really miss this atmosphere at night in Medina. The weather is so nice. It's so calm and peaceful. You don't have to rush for prayer and there's a lot of families everywhere that are out with kids um, lots of shops are open till late and overall it's just a very family friendly environment and you really feel a different kind of peace when you're walking around in Medina Alhamdulillah um, you know I wish and pray that every one of you guys that are watching that inshallah Allah invites you to Mecca in Medina and visit them soon inshallah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog stay tuned for the next vlog which will be a detailed video about all the ziyarats that we visited in Medina so please Please do share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really enjoy reading your comments and I appreciate all the love and support you guys show me. Inshallah, I will meet you guys in the next video. So until then, take care of yourselves and Allah Hafiz.